Washington, Reuters, U.S. President Donald Trump a Euro trademark s decision not to impose sanctions on Russia for now, under a law overwhelmingly passed by Congress, represents a missed opportunity to deter the Kremlin a Euro trademark s aggressive behavior, former U.S. officials and Russia specialists said on Tuesday. The Trump administration late on Monday said it would not immediately impose sanctions under the law, designed to punish Moscow for meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Russia denies doing so. The administration also published a list of Russian oligarchs who could be sanctioned, as required by the law. The list was dismissed in Moscow as little more than a a euro a telephone directory a euro of the rich. U.S. and Russian observers said it appeared to be a virtual copy of Forbes magazine a euro trademark s list of Russia a euro trademark s wealthiest people. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnookin told the Senate Banking Committee on Tuesday that the administration could still impose sanctions. A euro or ethics should in no way be interpreted as we euro trademark re not putting sanctions on any of the people in that report a euro Mnookin told the Senate Banking Committee, referring to the list of oligarchs. Under the law, the administration faced a Monday deadline to impose sanctions on anyone who was determined to have conducted significant business with Russian defense and intelligence sectors. Those sectors already have been sanctioned for their alleged role in the U.S. presidential election. A Euro OE I think the administration missed an opportunity to extend the use of sanctions a Euro to deter Russia, said retired Ambassador Daniel Fried, formerly the State Department a Euro trademark s top sanctions official. The report on Russian oligarchs a Euro E seemed to be assembled in haste, and seemed to be close to a cut and paste job a Euro said Fried, now at the Atlantic Council think tank. Trump criticized the sanctions law, which Congress passed last year with enough backing to override any presidential veto, and has seemed unenthusiastic about implementing it. In a statement late on Monday, State Department spokeswoman Heather Nogart said the law by itself was deterring Russian defense sales. A Euro Ezenki The enactment of the legislation, we estimate that foreign governments have abandoned planned or announced purchases of several billion dollars in Russian defense acquisitions A Euro she said. While that explanation is A Euro E not preposterous A Euro said Lawrence Friedman, emeritus professor at King A Euro Trademark S College London, A Euro or Eth main concern is clearly not wanting to upset Russia more A Euro. Republican Senator Bob Corker, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said he was heartened by a classified briefing that the State Department gave on Monday to the committee a Euro trademark s staff. A Euro OEI am encouraged by the diplomatic steps Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has taken in recent months to compel other governments to comply with COTSA a Euro Corker said, using an acronym for the Countering America Euro trademark s adversaries through Sanctions Act. A Euro or E in the whole, it is clear the administration is working in good faith a euro.